Scott Smith at Rusnak BMW in Southern sunny California <laughs> so here we go we've got a 2016 320 this is my first video on the 320 model of the 3 series lineup I um, wanted to pick out kind of a nice color here we got the Melbourne red metallic with the black interior and it's got the sport package now there's been a lot of great upgrades with the 2016 model now right off the bat check out the daytime running lights on this 320 it's got its own design as you can see there's two of them nice little slits there so with the 328 and 340 they've actually got a different design so it does have its own exclusive daylight running lights and they are LEDs the fog lights are LEDs and then the whole lower part of the bumper has got its own unique design too compared to the 328 and the 340 because they do have some of the sport line but this lower part of the bumper through here from what I've really noticed is its own unique look for the LC, LCI design or upgrade I should say which is a life cycle impulse so what I call it definitely a very nice um, refresh on the vehicle now most of the metal and stuff on the car has stayed the same as the previous model, but BMW's done some really cool upgrades. Now the wheel will come standard with a 17 inch wheel. Now this is the upgraded 18 inch wheel with the sport package for the 320i. Let's go ahead and move to the back. Now some of the um, upgrades they've done with the LCI, as you'll see right here, this section right in here, a little bit of a new design, a little more of a broader stance, just make it look a little meaner. And then you'll just see on the other side, and one thing that everybody's been really excited about is the new LED rear tail lights. Look phenomenal at night, down in the basement parking structures, definitely have just some serious brightness to them. So one thing to mention, okay? One thing on the front too, guys, I wanted to mention with the new LCI, is um, you've got a wider stance up front too with the uh, wind tunnels there the, for the uh, wheel well disturbance. They've gotten a little bigger and this whole section through here has been upgraded with the 16. Okay, let's go inside with Vanessa. Hi Vanessa. Hi guys, just wanna show you some of the manual seat functions. Um, just over your, under your right knee, you mm -hmm. can uh, push back and forth. Okay. You have this handle here that'll lift you up and down. Yeah, so we have height adjustment, guys, or you can drop the seat. And then this one here will just be your back support. Adjust the back support, okay. And then what's nice with this, guys, is it is the sport seat. So, Vanessa, we also have... The lazy board. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you can tilt back, guys, really nice. Also with the sport seat, you get a power adjustment on the width of the seat. So you can make it narrower, more support, or if you want a little wider, a little bit more relaxed. Cool, Vanessa, let's jump out. We'll show them the back seat. Now guys, Vanessa's five foot without the heels, so we know in the three series, she's gonna have plenty of space, as you can see here. And then another upgrade for the 16 model was the silver trim around the uh, vents there. And also, you've got the accent here with the window button. So cool, Vanessa, let's jump out. Let's show them the trunk. Cool guys, 12 cubic feet of storage in here. As you can see, there's no fold down seat standard in a 320, but it is available. Underneath, we've got storage. Very nice. Cool. Let's move to the front, Vanessa. I'll meet you up there. I'll go pop the, pop the hood for us. Guys, pop in the hood, just pull this twice. One, two on the newer BMWs, at least from the last couple years. Cool guys, check it out. There's our turbocharged four cylinder. Cool Vanessa, Bye, thanks guys. for your help, see ya. You. Cool, okay guys, this is a two liter uh, four cylinder. It is a um, twin scroll turbocharged engine. It's got 180 horses at 5,000 RPMs and you've got 200 foot pounds of torque starting at 1250. RPMs. Now 0 to 60 guys is 4 points, excuse me, <laughs> don't we wish, 7.1 0 to 60. Now the one thing I do have to tell you guys, please, if you have a chance, go drive this car. 
because I know on paper 7.1 and that is pretty quick. Now remember, I've always told my clients, um, you know, speed is a perception. So go test drive it, have some fun. I mean, a car could have 100 horsepower, but if you think it's fast, that's all that matters, okay? So please, test drive this car. Now, the one thing that is nice with it is you do get the sport button and the Eco Pro settings on here. So if you want a little bit more attitude, you can definitely turn on the sport button. You do have the eight speed Steptronic transmission, which has a efficient drive mode, basically regular drive. You can pull it towards you, goes into a sport automatic, or you can do the shifting yourself. So um, with the Steptronic mode. So you can have a lot of great attitude and performance adjustment on this car with the transmission and the sport button. Now guys, the sport button does the throttle response and then tightens up the steering to give you a little better road feel. So that way you could have the transmission in a sport mode, you can have the throttle in a sport mode, and then also the steering. And then this does come with M Sport suspension with your sport package on the 320, so that's really nice. Let's go over this sticker really quick on this car. So you can see 2016, you can see the base price there. Metallic paint, there's your sport package. 18 inch wheels, sport seat, sport steering wheel, and you get the anthracite headliner. You can see all the other standard equipment. And then this one we've upgraded with the satellite radio, which includes a year's worth of service. So there's your price, US dollars. Guys can pause this anytime you want if you want to read some of the details. Great gas mileage, 24 and 36, average of 28. And you can see this one was built in Munich, Germany. Now one thing I want to mention, we know with the higher class cars like this, the European cars, they do recommend 91 octane. But as you can see right here, for the US market, 91 or please do not go below 89 octane so that is our middle grade gas here so just wanted to mention that if pricing takes off again or for whatever reason um, bmw recommends 91 but do not go below 89. got a good size glove box you can see here we've got the silver trim in here which is really nice the silver matte trim which gives a nice sporty look Guys, you got now cup holders, 45 degree water bottle cup holders, you know, a sealed drink that you can put in the door. And then you've also got the accent here for the 2016. So now one thing we mentioned about that sport package on a 320, it does come with the anthracite headliner. So you get nice, meaner look inside the car, a little bit more of a sporty setup. Oh, one thing to mention about the sport seats too, guys, we do have the extension up front too. So a little bit more hamstring support. Let me get over to the driver's side. Looks like we got the clouds moving in today. Awesome color, this metallic red, the Melbourne. There's your rear LED lights for you. Get that thing to focus. 18 inch wheels. All right. You guys know one of my favorites is the steering wheel. So you do get the M Sport steering wheel here. Really nice feel, which goes all the way up into, you know, the 328, 340s, the 4 Series, 5 Series, all the way up the line. So it's really nice. You can see the M badge there. That means the Motorsport Division designed this steering wheel for this car. There's your gauges for you. Easy to read. Now, one thing to mention, guys, the auto start stop button. A lot of people have questions about that in the United States. Remember, the um, auto start stop feature has been out for a really long time. You know, it was incorporated into hybrids and stuff over a decade ago. So really, just thinking about some of the old school thoughts about the auto start stop, guys, you do not have to worry about that. We've had it out since 2012. It's a great way to save gas. Also, less emissions coming out of the pipe. So just less footprint on the planet. So please, if you get a BMW or any of the other cars out there, just wanted to remind you, try out the auto start stop for a month. I tell my clients to do that. Just let it do it. So every time you come to a stop at a light, if all conditions are correct, the car will go into 
a ready mode, which you'll see right here, which turns off the engine. Everything else will keep running up to a particular amount of time. You know, if you sit too long, the car will monitor everything and will turn automatically back on. Now, one thing about it, with our car, your foot is on the brake. As soon as you start to lift off that brake, the engine is going to come back on. So there is no hesitation from the brake to the gas pedal with this, guys. Try it for 30 days. It's just going to be like everything else new in the car, okay? Um, one thing to mention about, about the LCI, the LCI on the 2016, you've got the black shiny chrome across here, which is really nice accents. You've got the nice chrome accents, hair pearlescent chrome on the handles. And then also one thing I definitely did notice one night um, is we do have that ambient lighting that actually is around here at night. So it's a nice, just nice look, a nice high quality design they did on here. Also, you see here during the day, the numbers have gone to a white uh, number color instead of the orange. Now the orange will come back at night when the headlights are on so it's not as bright, not as distracting. You've got your one through eight shortcut buttons here which are great. Run your finger across them and they show up on the top of the screen there. So definitely very nice. You can set them for phone numbers, things like that. You know, radio station, obviously satellite, things like that. Even a shortcut to somewhere in the iDrive system. Now this car does not have nav, but it does come with a six and a half inch iDrive screen. And one thing that is nice, uh, you have Bluetooth a standard on these, but also streaming audio. So I even hooked my phone up and played around with it just for a little bit, just to get a little bit more familiar with it. So that's nice guys, that's included. So with your phones, with your apps, you can play your music instead of just listening to uh, the radio or satellite. Got your cruise control features here. It's dynamic cruise control. So it will use the brakes. So one thing I did try out years ago when they had, we still, we had the dynamic uh, cruise control from years ago. Uh, coming back on a canyon road late at night, I set it for, gosh, I don't know, 50 miles per hour. And we're talking about tight corners, maybe 20 miles per hour. So what was cool is you come into that turn hot like that, car notices right away, the car starts to lean. When this body starts to lean, that cruise control automatically puts on the brakes, slows me down to go through the turn, and then goes back to my speed limit that I had set up. So it's kind of neat. Or, you know, God forbid on the freeway, you're in cruise control and something happens and you have to make an emergency maneuver. This car instantly starts to lean. The cruise control is already slowing the car down if your foot's not on the brake. So that dynamic cruise control that is standard on the BMWs is very, very nice. I'd say definitely try it out. There's more of the accents, guys, right there, around there. Lights are here, obviously. Let's go down here. You got your iDrive controller. Now that transmission setting I was talking about, pull back, there's regular drive, and then there's your sport automatic. Now you'll see in the dash there, it says S1. So you're still in the automatic, but it'll show you the gears. And then all you have to do, push forward, goes right into manual one. Tap it back, goes into two. Now watch what happens. I go to three, nope, sorry, we would stall. So I'm automatically gonna put you back into two. So great system. You can do that at any speed at any time and just push back. So you can do that really easy. In here guys, we got the plug-in. So if you wanna charge the phone, you got the aux, good storage. They did a great job on the cup holders. And also then you do have your cover which is now not removable, it's permanent. Also, you can see you've got storage here. Also, the charger's out here in case you do have taller devices that you wanna plug in. One thing that was kinda of cool that I learned with this transmission, electronic transmission controller here, is that you could be in drive, you could be over in sport mode, you go ahead and turn the car off, puts it into park and moves it over for you. So it's just kind of cool, this day and age with everything being more automated. All right, let's take another look. Now guys up here on the roof, here we go. BMW Teleservices. What's nice, it's included for 10 years now with the car. So God forbid, if you do have an accident, airbag goes off, or if your seatbelt tensioner system is activated, the car will send out a signal to BMW Teleservices and somebody will be contacting you through the speakers to see if you need assistance. If there is no response, they will be sending out authorities to your location. And like I told you, the car will send out a signal if something happens. So this isn't a monitoring system. It's only if something is activated, the car will send out the signal. Cool.
All right, guys, let's go ahead and get outside, show you a couple more shots out here. Thanks for watching.